I'm here in the studio with my coma. Guys, thank you so much for joining thank me. Thanks for having me. Thank you. You guys um, collectively have been in the music industry for a number of years with various different bands. But I want to know how you came about to be my coma. How did you find <coughs> each other? We've actually known each other for a while. Uh, Corey played in another band, and we've known him for years. Uh, the three of us, we played in Burning Borders, and uh, we, I've known Levi for a long time. And what made you decide to bring? the four of you together, why did you choose you four? Once we decided to leave uh, Burning Borders, uh, we took some time off for music and then me and Brian kind of met up and started writing stuff and jamming more just for fun. And then the idea came up to call Mike and then Mike. Corey had heard that we had been jamming so he contacted me and it kind of just happened. Yeah. And that was in 2010. 2010? Two I know, yeah. It's almost, <laughs> almost two years. <laughs> two years? Oh, just about two years. <laughs> yeah. And then 2011, you guys were top 50 in the Fox Seeds. Yeah. yeah. What does that do for a band that's just started playing together? Being in the top 50, I mean, it's, it's always good to kind of go all the way by the top 50, just get your name out there a little bit more, especially being in a new band. It did feel pretty cool, just because the some of the <coughs> other bands that were in the top 50, or, I mean, other bands that were voted into a previous, it's humbling <laughs> kind of being nominated into the top 50 with some of those guys. Yeah. So it was, it was like, wow, that's pretty cool. What's your favorite province that you've played in. Mm, that's, that's, that's a tough one. That's a real yeah. tough one. Um, yeah. BC. Yeah. yeah. It is cold everywhere else. <laughs> yeah. It is cold. Yeah. I think we're in Winnipeg. We had a couple of good, uh, good, was good fun. crowds. You know, Winnipeg was, was cool. Good place yeah. To be. Yeah. It is, it's, and every band we talk to, they're like, when you get to Winnipeg, people there love music yeah. in general. Doesn't matter what kind of band you yeah. are, and we kind of were hoping that was going to be the case. But we got there, and they were right. It was awesome. Calgary was a fun place too. Yeah. Anytime we played Calgary, we always had a good time. I found Grand Prairie to be a really cool rock town. Mm -hmm. Like they, yeah. uh, their scene there, they have that one uh, uh, better than Friends. They give you the rock star treatment there, and the other place that did that was Vernon. Actually, remember yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, they and, uh, yeah. They, they put you up in a hotel and nice. You, you learn from them that the number one thing you need to have on your rider. Socks. <laughs> yeah. Socks. And uh, why is that? Because you'd be traveling and it's it's nothing worse than having a dirty, cold, wet socks. Yeah. So you get to a new venue, they give you a new pair, and yeah, it's the greatest thing ever. Forget the booze, forget the food. Give me give me a pair of socks. Socks. You wear a pair of jeans for like three weeks and not wash them. Yeah. Socks, totally different thing. Socks and boxers. <laughs> I'm gonna come back to the socks at the end of the interview. Yeah. yeah. Um, leave the boxers. It's, it's the thing I need. Yeah. The boxers I'll leave on touch. Now you guys have a show coming out locally. February 17th. Yep. 17th. Uh, Joe's apartment. That's gonna be a great show. Versus Nothing, known for years, great band. There's a yeah. new opening band called It's Criminal. Amazing yeah. band. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, really good. It's going to be a fun show. Yeah. How can people get tickets? We deliver. Yeah. We deliver. We, deliver. Personally? we yeah. do, we do, yeah. yeah. We'll, go uh, personally. we'll personally deliver and, uh, yeah. Shaking hands, through kissing us. babies. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. you got it. Yeah. <laughs> you can go to any of our band yeah. pages. The show is being promoted through Red Nine Productions. And if yeah. all else fails, they have tickets out the door. Yeah. I'm going to put you in the spotlight for a minute, Brian. Okay. Um, I've been told that they call you Hollywood. Yeah. And uh, that only means that you you need a moment to shine right now. I'm, I'm a diva. Everything revolves around me. It's basically the singer syndrome. Where did you hear all of that? Oh, that we're not going to get the end of this for like <laughs> yeah. a month. Yeah. Yeah. I've been told that you do some wicked acapella. And yeah. I was wondering if you could break some up for me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me see. Oh, well, I guess it would be nice if I could touch your body. I know not everybody has got a body like me. <laughs> that, that was awesome. That would explain right there yeah. why you were named uh, one of well. the top ten frontmen in Canada. Oh, uh, awesome. So is an acapella performance something your fans can expect at the next show? It's not something that we really do too much anymore, but uh, maybe I'll throw something in. Yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Throw something in the middle there. Yeah, it'll be a surprise. Well, acapella yeah. uh, mic check. Yeah, there songs. You go. Yeah. Some of what does Higher Ground Productions and yourselves see in the near future, in the coming months? What are your goals to achieve? Want to release the EP? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's one of the big ones. <coughs> get shirts made. Get a merchandise. Tour across Canada, Canada yeah. come yeah. huge and get a billion dollar contract. Yeah. That's where you should yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm going to go back to the socks. I don't know if you've watched any of my other interviews. But in each interview, I actually have a question about socks. Okay. So the fact that you guys brought it up at the beginning. <laughs> socks, is okay, awesome. here we go. Why did you choose those socks today? 
Uh, the first one was I grabbed from the drawer. Every day that's the way you go about doing it? Basically, yes. Do they always match? Not always. I if they're not matching, I always make sure I'm wearing long pants <laughs> okay. so that people won't know that they're not matching. I would never wear socks that do not match while I'm wearing shorts. You're meaning lengthwise? Um, not just lengthwise, but like actual brand. Okay. Um, very nice. I think it's awesome yeah. that you have the, the foresight to put your socks on, <laughs> and then as you put in your pants, and go, oh shoot, the wrong shoot. socks. And you start going yeah. and fixing Let that, us find like, pants oh, that pants yeah. will hide it. <laughs> there is, hey, there's a lot of thought process that goes into putting on socks. I your actually socks. do have a lot of thought process. Can you tell me about it? Black socks, because I'm wearing black pants. Good. Okay. Yeah. And they have no holes. Good. That is a big one, because you never know when you're taking off your shoes. That's true. Right? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and the holes are uncomfortable. Oh, they're terrible. I don't really mix match. I I like I go for the short socks usually. I always plan them out. If I'm wearing shorts, I go for the short socks. If I'm not, it doesn't matter. I can pull them up to here. Doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. And then uh, warm up the ankles. Yeah. Yeah, and if I'm, yes, it depends on what I'm wearing too. If I'm wearing a suit, it's the little thin, frilly ones. Yeah. Dress yeah. socks. Yeah, my dress socks. Everything. I have a sock for every occasion. Except the sandals, right? Except for sandals. Okay. No. Thank you. No. <laughs> yeah. No. I sometimes wear socks. Oh. oh you know what? Is that a Canadian thing? Like, I, no, it's not. It's and not. Like okay. The boxers, we're just gonna leave that on a lot. Yeah. That seems yeah. like a European thing. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Mike, how about yours? So I'm, I'm fussy about socks, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, cannot have any holes. Mm -hmm. Socks have holes, they're in the garbage. Um, depends on the shoes I'm going to wear that day, and the shoes I'm going to wear that day depends on the clothes I'm going to wear that day, which depends on what I'm doing that day. Nice! So, <laughs> I like it! Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> Me too. Yeah, exactly. So usually for uh, for getting up and going to the office, that sort of thing, it's, it's going to be dress shoes. So it's going to be uh, like dress socks, and usually black. I'm pretty I'm pretty non adventurous with that, Un unless uh, black or tan, because those are usually the dress shoes that that I'll wear. But then with boots um, and and Converse and that sort of thing, I just wear sports socks. Yeah, that's it. And low cut sports socks. Always low cut. Cheap from Walmart. And also too, you're ready to wear shorts. And I'm ready to wear shorts too. In um, case you change your mind. Yeah. Right? Not always low cut. No. If I'm if I'm wearing jeans or something and there's it's cold outside or something, uh, sometimes I'll even put the woolies. There you the go. The wool ones. Yeah. So I, I do have thermal socks. Yeah. 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 I, I double yeah. it up. I have the regular pair, then the woolies over top. Yeah. 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 I like the Smart. woolies. Yeah. No, it's, it's great. And the woolies look great in sandals. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. no, they don't. We went back there. Yeah. Let's do this again in the summer. We'll wear our woolies with our sandals. All right. <laughs> so fashion conscious. <laughs> Levi, how about yours? Um, it's, it's all about comfort because I'm on my feet all day. So it's just socks. Like Brian said, he doubles them up. Since I'm walking around a lot on during the day, I'm, I'm a tradesman, so I'm always on my feet and I'm doing service work. So I have to make sure that number one, there's no holes, and number two, they're just comfortable. They at least have to match because a lot of times I'm in people's houses. And that what are you trying there. to say about being in people's houses? Yep. You're in your own house, so it's all there. Yeah, yeah. But you, like, you if I came to wherever you like. If I came to your house with mismatched socks, that would be a bad thing. Let me propose the question to you. You have a light that's not working, and I come into your house wearing two different kinds of socks. You're hired. I'm hired? Absolutely. You're going to let me play with your electrical, Absolutely. but I can't even put on the right kind of socks. I'm going to work at White Rock more often. But your pants might be long. So. You always have that to get some attached socks. Yeah. Is there? Comes to me. Yeah. Like, that could they, almost work as a flag together. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah, I caught that. And uh, I'm glad you did. Yeah, that's very you good. You know, if I'm wearing a sock with the sunshine on it, then I'll have a sock with rain on it. If there's all all right. All right. That's cool. That's, that's cool. cool. Very they clever. match. They there you go. That's that's clever. That match, but they don't. It's no, good. no. It almost matches more than matched socks. Yes. In a sense, it's like the yin and the yang of socks. I think you guys could write a song about it. The, the, the yin and yang of the socks. Yeah, yin and yang. That could be your acapella. There you yes. go. Yeah. There you go. The yin and the, the sock. sock aca acapella. Long pen. And you're gonna sing with me, right? We're yeah, I can do. We can do some sort of good. Yeah. Good. Some boy bandage. Cool. Oh, oh, awesome. oh, if this interview oh, comes up before good. the show and you do that, people that watch the car are gonna be like, ah! You caught that, yeah. So you heard it here first. Oh, yeah. well, there you go. Now you yeah. have to do it. Oh, yeah. oh, this is depressing. Oh, okay. It's gonna be okay. good. All right. We'll figure something out. We'll do it. All right. Okay. Good. Guys, thank you so much. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. You too. And all the best in the future. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.